ಪಾಲಿ ತಂಡ ಭಗತಿ ಮೊಂಡನ ಪರ್ ರೀತ ತಬನ ಮಾಲಿ ತಂಡ ಭಗತಿ ಮೊಂಡನ ಪರ್ ರೀತ ತಬನ ಮಾಲಿ ಬಳಸಿ ಕಾಲಿಯನ್ನ ಥನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿಟನ್ ಬಾಯಿ ಸುರ್ದಾಸ್ So maybe in one future lifetime we'll be able to. So Krishna was dancing on the head of Kaliya in such a beautiful, you no know, magic, a melodious way, and Kaliya was raising his hooves one after another with pride, and Krishna was crushing his pride one after another. So there's some teaching there, because Kaliya is a, re- a representation of malice, dvesh, lust. All this poison boiling in the water, it represents all these anathas boiling in our heart. And just like Krishna was crushing all his heads like that, we pray that in the same way Krishna will appear in our heart and dance in our heart and crush down all our envy or dvesh or lust. Like so he was crushing down his, his, his head. He would dare sometime to raise one. At once Krishna would dance like that. Now imagine dancing on a moving platform like that. You have to be pretty good, right? So Krishna is the best dancer. No, he's a the king of all dancers, and then he was expressing, exp, no, displaying his prowess like that to all the little gopi girls. No, and they were all developing this purvarag, this attachment previous to meeting. Now they were getting a little older, and their love was starting to melt more and more towards the Krishna. So Krishna was fulfilling in one pastime different no uh, purposes like that. Then Kaliya started to become more and more weak and he started his head one by one going down, going down, going down, Krishna crushing, 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 jumping from one another. Very, very beautiful. And all the demigods were showering flowers. Then Kaliya at the end, he was in such a bad shape, vomiting blood. Now Krishna's feet were decorated by the light from his different jewels, like, like, like Krishna's feet were like copper, illuminated by the jewels. Then, The wives of Kaliya, which were very pious, you know, they had the natural, gentle qualities of ladies, then they came forward with their children, and they started to pray, offering very beautiful prayers. And they started to say, we don't know which... Uh, after saying, it is very befitting of you to have you know, punished this very sinful person or husband, because he's a very, very bad character. But on the other hand, we are wondering what wonderful activities what austerities, what pious activity did he do in the past, in the previous lives, that now you are dancing on his head and giving him so much mercy. Now he has become, you no know, surrender, he has become a Vaishnava by your, by your mercy. And they offered a very, very beautiful prayer. Now it is said that in the middle of that lake, it was an island. And then Kaliya came to that island and all the wives around and Krishna was there also. And they started to offer to Krishna all the, you know, the jewels in the treasury of Kaliya, because Krishna was decorated with so many jewelry like that. And they were offering prayers and prayers again and again. And then uh, Krishna told uh, Kaliya that now this is very good. Now you should leave this place and not disturb anymore the inhabitants of Vrindavan. You should go back to where you come from, to the island of Fiji, what is Ram- Ramanagdip, Ram- 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 where you were before, and don't you ever come back here. Itai go open man on you. After that, Kaliya re- returned to Ramnadik. But at the time of going, he was praying to Krishna, how I can go? Garud will again attack me. attack me. Krishna told that, no, I have given my footprints on your hoods. So when Kali will, uh, Guru will see, he will not do nothing. Then he went there. But one thing here, that sovereign cost uh, Guru. Guru is Bahan of Krishna, chariot-like. And by bird, his nature is to take fish. So, He took fish by nature and he is the parikar of Krishna. So Sauvari cost him 
and then it became very great offense. So, by offensing, by cursing, Krishna associates what became? A lust come in his heart. And for these thousand and thousand years, naked, he was doing tapasya in astrologies, in cold water and other things. But now he came and by his mystic power, he went to bed, beautiful, and he went to King Mandhata in the palace of Mandhata. He was very powerful king. He has 49 daughters, very beautiful. He went there and told that, I want to marry your old daughters. He told that, he saw that he is old person. Ugly. And all his bones are seen. How I can do? Then he told, hey, you should go to, come to my daughters, and if they like, oh, then can, they can marry. Durvasa thought, uh, thought, oh, king is very tricky. He is cheating me. He knows that I am an old person. So at once he became so beautiful by his mystic power. And he became, when, uh, he went there in the palace and all the daughters saw him and became very attached, I will marry, I will marry, I will marry. And seeing this, he made his 49 forms and with each lady he married. And thousand and thousand years he, hmm, what? Enjoyed sex, but not satisfied. But one day, when sun was going down, I, oh, I have not done money for so long time. What I have done? Foolish? I have imagined sex things. And then he began to repent. And then he left all and went to forest and did again astorities and after that by the grace of Garuda he became a devotee. So Vishwatna criticized any Vaishnav whether he is Uttam Madhyam. We should try to obey him. If he is angry, even you should know that his anger is for our benefit, his mercy. So we should be very careful. And after that, now it was evening like night. So all the gops, Nanda Baba, Jasoda and all, thought that it or um, village is somewhat far away. We should in night be here. And they began to spend their night there. But in the midnight, consent, he is one of the demon, or go and make fire in the forest. So he all drowned forest. He made fire and all began to work. To, uh, then they began to Pray Krishna, O oh Krishna, O oh Krishna, save us, save us. You have some mystic powers. And then Krishna at once came and took all the fire and everything was subsided. When Kan saw that, oh, he is not, my enemy is not dying, anyone is not doing anything, then Pradambhasu, very very strong uh, uh, demon he sent. And what became?
Om Gyanati Mirandasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Omnitam Jena Tasmai Shri Guru Vena Maha Vanchaka Patrubhis Chakripasan Veva Chapatita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shivasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Hare First of all, I offer my most respectful obeisances onto the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru Nitya Lila Pavishnu Vishnu Pad Asta Dorasata Shishamat Shila Gaur Govindagos Samaraj Again, I offer my most respectful obeisances onto the lotus feet of my Sanyasa Shiksha Guru Vishnu Pad Asta Dorasata Shishamat Shila Bhakti Gadanta Narayan Gosamaraj And again, my most respectful obeisances onto the lotus feet of my Param Guru Devs Nitya Lila Pavishnu Vishnu Pad Asta Dorasata Shishamat Shila A.C. Bhakti Gadanta Swami Shila Prabhupad and Nitya Lila Pavishnu Vishnu Pad Asta Dorasata Shishamat Shila Bhakti Pagyan Keshav Gosamaraj my most humble basis is unto all Trigandhi Sanyasis, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis. So now it's summer season in Vrindavan and I'll get right to the pastime. So Kamsa, he sent one very, very powerful demon. His name, Pralambasura. So Pralambasura, as these, his, the friends of Kamsa, they have so many mystic powers. So he had this mystic power where he could assume any form that he desired. So Pralambasura, he went in the midst of um, Krishna, Balaram, and the cowherd boys, and he assumed the form of a cowherd boy, mixing with them, talking, playing. They were going through the um, forest of Vrindavan, um, performing so many games. So they decided that they would play hide and seek. So Krishna, he had his group on one side, and Baldev, he had his group on the other side. Pralambasura, being somewhat intimidated by um, the strength of Krishna, knowing that Krishna had killed so many demons, so then he went and he took the side of Krishna, thinking that he would then be able to um, attack Baldev. So, playing hide and seek, those cowherd boys, along with Krishna, they would hide, and then Baladev, Sridham, and his friends, his side, they would go and search for Krishna and his friends. So, by and by, Baladev and his friends, they, they found um, Krishna and all of the different cowherd boys on his side. So, um, as the losers, they had to carry on their back the winners. So then Krishna, he had to carry Sridham. And um, Baladev oh, and Palambasura, uh, he, in the form of a carrot boy, now he had to carry Baladev. So Palambasura, he started to take Baladev very, very far direction, away from all the other cowherd boys. Baladev being the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then, though he's playing his Narvat Nila as a young boy, but still, he could understand that, oh, that this is not just some ordinary cowherd boy, but this is actually a demon disguised as a cowherd boy. So then, it's described that Baladev, he starts to become heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier, till he became as heavy as Mount Sumeru. Palambasura, now, not being able to contain this weight, then he gave up his disguise, and then his very his natural form manifested, very very huge form, uh, with um, ornaments uh, and very very ferocious, and then he started to carry Baladev and started to reach up to the sky. Baladev very very easily with his fist, he just hit Pralambasura in the head. And then he smashed his head uh, and his jaw. He smashed his head, his jaw, and this demon fell to the ground, um, broken and devastated. And dead. So then, what is the um, teaching from this pastime? Yesterday, we discussed that um, Baladev, he represents um, Akanda Guru Tattva, Gurudev. And now again, not Krishna, but Baldev, he is killing 
this demon Palambasura. So this Palambasura, he represents Kapatya. Is it Kapatya? He represents Kapatya, duplicity. Within duplicity, there's also Kutinati. Hmm? So Kapatya means for the Sadak, as I explained yesterday, that having come to the line of, um, especially this pure line of Srila Rupa Goswami, and coming at the lotus feet of such an exalted personality as Srila Gurudev, that after thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of births, this chance is there. So I said that better to take birth in the lowest species of lives, worms, ants, birds, than to cultivate kapatya, duplicity, matsarya, envy, kutinati. So, regardless of our situation, then we should practice, especially towards Srila Gurudev, we should practice uh, being straightforward. That what is in the heart should also be performed externally. That we should not have one thing in the heart and then another thing externally. But the heart should be open and always to reveal our mind to Gurudev. That especially we're coming and Guru is Sadhu Vaidya. He is a transcendental physician. But then the, the, the patient uh, has to come and present oh, that, oh, this is my sickness. Uh, and then the transcendental physician, then he performed the operation. So it's very, very, very important that always, that our hearts are always open to Srila Gurudev. We may think that, oh, but the sannyasis, they get to travel with Srila Gurudev so much, they can go in, they have so much easy access. But we should understand that Srila Gurudev is not a mundane, material personality who is limited by time and space, but that we all have access to that association and that we have a responsibility, we have a responsibility to take advantage of that, right, and develop that heart-to-heart -heart relationship, which means really opening our hearts. And then, kapatya, there's also kutinati. Kutinati means, uh, in this regard, not fault-finding, not criticizing. That Srila Gurudev very, very often, he stresses the point that we should not criticize another person. Even if the person is doing something um, which is wrong, if we're not in the position, then we should not criticize, we should not fault find. I believe it's Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, he gives the example that a sieve, you know a sieve that you use for straining rice, things like that, it has so many holes, and the sieve is looking at the needle and saying, oh look, you have that hole, how bad, how bad, how bad. So we should be concentrated on the anatas which are there within us, rather than concentrated on the anatas or problems of somebody else. Mm -hmm. Really we should be concentrated on the positive side of engaging in Krishna consciousness and then these anatas automatically they will be eradicated. So <coughs> here by Baladev killing this demon showing that these anatas which are very very difficult to overcome by ourselves then we need to take shelter of the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev. That we need to take shelter again and again and again and that this is the backbone of bhakti. Developing this shelter, this mood, this relationship, this nishta. That once this is there, that relationship is there, then really we can gallop in bhakti. Without this, then we're like horses with broken legs. So we pray to Lord Baladev that please, you are Kanda Guru Tattva, that please um, be very merciful to me and let me be non-duplicious uh, to all, to Vaishnavas, but most especially to Srila Gurudev. Yanatimirandasya, Yanandjana, Shalakaya, Chakshur, Militam Yana, Tasmashi, Gurave Namaha, Gurave, Gurachandraya, Radikaya, Tvadalaya, Krishnaya, Krishna Bhaktaya, Tad Bhaktaya, Namo Namaha, Vanchaka, Patarubiascha, Kripa Sindubia, Eva Chapatitana, Pavanabio, Vashnabio, Namo Namaha. So, first of all, let me offer my 
In the name of God, the Lord, 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 the while the cowhead boys were having the picnic one day at Bandi Rabat, we go there on Parikram every year, a very beautiful place where Shiva Gurudev has sponsored the construction, a very, very nice um, platform. So they were having the lunch there, and um, then the cows, while they were having the picnic lunch, the cows and the calves, the cows had wandered away and got lost. So then the cowherd the boys went in search of the cows and they found them stuck in the Munja forest, the forest of bamboo, bamboo trees, very, very difficult to get out. So they found the cows and they started heading them back out of the forest into the grazing grounds. But then a very big forest fire came, one demon in for, form of a forest fire came and started, the wind was blowing it very hard and it started eating everything, burning everything. So the cowherd boys became very, very frightened and they were scared. And then what do you do when you're scared? You call on Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, please save me. So they also turned to Krishna and asked and prayed to him, cried to him, please save us, we're being burned. Like we all are being burned in this fire of material existence. So then Krishna said, Okay, just close your eyes. So they closed their eyes and Krishna swallowed the forest fire. And when the cowherd boys opened their eyes, they found themselves back. Not only the, the, the fire has completely disappeared, but they found themselves back in Bandirvan, in Bandirvat, Bandirvat, sitting and having the picnic just as before, as if the cows had not wandered off and if the whole thing was just an illusion. Similarly, if we trust the orders of Guru, Shri Guru, the representative of Krishna, and trust him to, to follow what he is asking us to do, also this material existence, the forest fire of material existence, will disappear and we'll find ourselves somewhere else more appropriate. So now, uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur in Krishna Samhita, he, did, he explains how the 16 demons represents uh, six, uh, eight, 18 kinds of anathas which are obstacles for our bhakti. And uh, he explains that this forest fire represents... Um, no, it, it represents uh, what we call uh, Niyamagraha. Like in um, Atyahara Prayashascha, Prajalpa Niyamagraha. Niyamagraha has two meaning. One is when we neglect the rules and regulations. Another Niyamagraha means when we, when we put too much emphasis on the externals of bhakti, like dress, like ritual, like protocol, and we forget the essence, which that bhakti is an affair of the heart, that bhakti is about love, about how to give our, our heart to Guru and Krishna. It's not about exactly about having my tilak perfect like this. So um, this, this insistence on formalities, uh, we should be careful, careful not to fall into this trap because these six things destroy our bhakti and this is one of, the, uh, one of them. If we forget that bhakti, what the essence of bhakti, the, mood, the internal mood is not less important than the externals, then we will lose the essence, the, 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 the flow of bhakti. And then Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, he fine-tuned this list of 18 anathas and, and demons that Bhakti Vinod Thakur wrote. And he said, these are 18 obstacles uh, for obtaining Viraj Bhav. And he explained, in, in addition to the Niyamagraha, this forest fire represents sectarianism among, sectarianism among Vaishnavas. In strife, arguments, and disagreements between different groups of Vaishnavas, different sanghas of Vaishnavas. So this, this intolerance of uh, even other Vaishnavas that 
have different guru or slightly different mood is very, very bad for our bhakti because if we cannot even be respectful and friendly to other Vaishnavas from other groups or from other gurus, disciples of other gurus, then it, it, we will criticize them and disrespect them, then we will also in very much danger of losing our bhakti. So this is what the forest fire represents. We have, we have to uh, try and, and avoid this forest, this forest fire or the only way to avoid it is to take shelter of Krishna or for us, the representative of Krishna, Shiva Gurudev. We are worried, go. Cows. They see green grasses. And again, some far away they see green grasses. So for this temptation, they run away very far away from Krishna. Keeping Krishna behind. Here go means also senses. our senses. If we are not controlling our senses, then eyes running towards very beautiful faces. Oh, this is very beautiful. She is more beautiful. He is more beautiful, like this. And then nose very fragrant, fragrant. She runs there. Our tongue Oh, very delicious, very delicious. Also runs there. So five senses in five things. If you will not control, then they will go far away from Krishna. That is, you will sink in the lust, self-enjoying. And thus you will go very far away from Krishna. At that time, no no any means to be set. Only that, oh Krishna, oh Gurudev, oh Baldev Prabhu, save me, save me. Not only t by telling sincerely, with tears and melted hearts, then he will see and you will see that as we are in Guru. Krishna told to all the gopi, uh, Cowherd boys, that go, oh, close your doors, hmm. eyes. eyes. Why? That once I took earth in mouth and Jasodama chastised me. Now if I will drink fire in, in the presence of all, then they may go and tell Mother Jasoda. <laughs> And then she will beat me, twist <laughs> my ears. So he told that, I, oh, you should close your eyes. And when they close, then at once in a second, all the cow, all the cowherd boys, they saw that we are sitting on the bank of Yamuna in Bhandir, but cows, they saw that, oh, they are chewing, chewing, chewing. And very clear. They forget even that where we are, what doing. As a dream they began to think. So if we in this time, in this way, we are sinking in sex, enjoyment and others. Life after life we will go away for. Then if we want to sincerely save from this then call your Gurudev. O Gurudev, O Krishna, save me, save me. Then you will see that, oh, you are not here, you are in Guru Vrindavan. This is the purport. And after that, Sardritu came. And Sukhdeva Goswami is telling, 
इतम सोलत सत छजरम पदमा कर सुगंधी ना नमस्त बाई ना बातम सागो गो पालो को अच्छुता फिर अटम सीजन कम्स ऑल दी वाटर इन जमुना इन मानसी गंगा कुसुम सरोवर एप्रीवर बिकम्स वेरी वेरी प्योर ऑटोमेटिक नथिंग टू डू एनीथिंग ऑटोमेटिक एंड पद्माकर सुगंध देना सो मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ लोटस फ्लावर इन देयर विथ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटीफुल फ्रेग्रेंस एंड बाय दिस फ्रेग्रेंट एट्रैक्टेड बीज दे बिगेन टू कम टेक हनी एंड टू टू हैमी देयर ब्यूटीफुल बंदावन एप्रीवेर Green and green, Kripas Sahib. Surrounded, surrounded trees, and trees and Kripas are full of flowers and full of fruits. So air coming from Jamuna, very cool, very cool, and with flowers coming, so fragrance was there. And in this way, beautiful Bindavan, Krishna with Baladev and other gopis entered with cows. Kusumita Banna Raja Sushma Venga, Dijikulu Ghosta Sarath Saran Mahidram, Madhupatu Avo Gaje Chariyan Ga, Sa Gopal Ko Achyuta. In this way, beautiful in Bindavan, where all kinds of belly, chaveli, juhi, kadamba, lotus or flowers are in bujyam and mad bees are hanging everywhere and all the rivers, Manshi, Ganga and Jamuna in others and Giriraj Govardhan was seen very, very beautiful. And then Madhupata Avagahi Acharyanaga, Madhupata Krishna, very sweet, Madhuram Madhanam Balram Badanam, like this Krishna. Grazing cows he entered in Vrindavan and playing on the fort. All his friends, तद् ब्रजस्त्रिय आशुत्त वेणु गीतम् श्मरुदयम् कष्टित परोक्षम् कृष्णम् सस्वके भयान् परन्यन् When the gopis from their houses far away they heard the beautiful sound, very sweet sound of flute. At once they began to think about Krishna, his beauty, how he walks. How beautiful smiling, how he walks like elephant and how he talks with cheeky way and so thus our, he is taking our hearts. In this way, when they heard at once their love and affection from Krishna, for Krishna, oh it go, went extreme. Out of their control, and then they began to speak with other gopis. Oh, Sakhi, oh, Sakhi, oh, Krishna has gone and playing on flute, but they could not tell. That barely to me after that. When they began, used to begin, oh, about Krishna. Playing flute in the forest, at once Marudayam. Oh, that love and affection, oh, went very beyond limit. And by this, their voice was shocked, tears in eyes, and they become like, oh, senseless. What they saw from there. Parhapidam natavarapapu karnayo karnikar. Vigbhatvasa kanak kapisam bhai jayanti chamalam 
रंधान दीन कथर सुदय पूरे अन्न गोप बिंदे वृंदारण्यम शपथ रमनम प्राशक्ति वो दिशा सुखदेव गोस्वामी चैली दिशा कृष्ण फ्रॉम देयर पिटिफुल बडी लाइक क्लाउड्स एंड इन क्लाउड्स लाइक बिजली फ्लैशिंग फ्लैशिंग लाइट एज इफ दैट हिज पिताम्बर वॉज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल लुकिंग एंड बनमाला अप टू फिट फ्रॉम हेयर नेक टू फीट एंड कर्णियो कर्णी कारम ही हैज वन फ्लावर फ्लावर दैट इज येलो कलर येलो कलर वी कैन कल्की वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वेरी ऑल्सो फ्रेग्रेंट मल्ली वन समटाइम्स हियर समटाइम्स हियर सो लाइक मैड अनपरल ब्यूटी रंथान वेणु एंड ही वॉज प्लेइंग ऑन फ्लोट वॉट क्लिंग एंड दिस मेलोडी इन दिस वर्ल्ड नो वन मास्ट टू क्वालिफाइड टू हियर सो इट वेल्थ ऑन इवेन इन स्वर नॉथिंग across the bakunt ba and then went to brajar and only these gopis are here who are most beloved of krishna not mother jashoda not other gopis not other gops not cowherd boy who there were there were with krishna only they are here but these are here with very very and then randhan venu then gopi heard and then become mad and all the covert boys praising krishna o sakhe o sakhe like and his glory find and krishna has so many 19 club kind of chakra lotus lotus and so many Mark. thanus bow arrow so many things atpisas marks and his were walking walking on the earth so hearing all these things then gopis began to tell each other paroksham krishna krishna was not there but he was far away in the forest but yet they are telling सखी इन आंखों का रहना वही सार्थक है जो कृष्ण गोचारण करने के लिए जा रहे हैं और घर की सब गृहस्थी छोड़कर पति इत्यादि को छोड़कर वन में जाकर कृष्ण के को दर्शन करें उनकी मधुर बंसी को श्रवण करें और आंखों से उनके सुंदर रूप को देखें इसे बढ़ करके और कोई बढ़ करके आंखों की सार्थकता नहीं है सो वी मस्ट गो देन एन अदर न्यूली कमिंग कोई नवीन गोपी आकर के कहती है सखी हमारे सास ससुर हैं हमारी ननद है उनके सामने कृष्ण के सामने कैसे जाए ये तो असंभव है ओह तुमको नहीं जाना पड़ेगा कृष्ण का रूप देख लेने से उसकी बंसी श्रवण करने से 
अपने आप उसके तरफ में खींच जाएगी जरूरत नहीं है कोई चेष्टा करने की चलो देख तो लो एक बार जैसे ननद बिगड़ेगी बिगड़ने दो फिर तो ऐसा रूप नहीं मिलेगा दर्शन करने के लिए फिर कहती है कि देखो कृष्ण और बलदेव जा रहे हैं आगे आगे बलदेव प्रभु चल रहे हैं क्योंकि वो रसिक थे जानते थे हमारे सामने गोपियों की तरफ नहीं देखेंगे इसलिए आगे चले गए और पीछे कृष्ण बंसी बजा रहे हैं आंखें कहा है वैर ओ वैर गोपी जॉर माई मोस्ट बी लव है उस समय में बत्रम बजे सुसुत अनुबेन जिस्टम बत्रम बजे सुसुत टू बलदेव एंड कृष्ण बोध कृष्ण एंड बलदेव दोनों ही नंद बाबा के ही मानव पुत्र हैं उनमें जो पीछे पीछे बंसी बजाते हुए आ रहा है उसका मुख दर्शन करने से आगे वाले का नहीं पीछे वाले का और दूसरा अर्थ होगा ब्रजेश सुसुत हो ब्रजेश टू ब्रजेश दो ब्रज के इस हैं एक नंद बाबा और एक विश्वानु बाबा सुतस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस्तस
Vrindavan, Banwala, and very soft red lips of mango and others. And <coughs> oh, he has colored his body with Gobardhan red color. And thus he has peacock feather here, also some green and very soft lips of trees, and thus he becomes a very, very beautiful, attractive, as if he is not a varra. On the Rangamanch, oh, on the stage you want to make some. Just a Rangamanch part. नट आकर के नित्य करते हैं अथवा नटवर जिस प्रकार से विवाह के समय में दुल्हे को सजा दिया जाता है और बहुत ही काला भी व्यक्ति भी बड़ा सुंदर बन जाता है और कृष्ण तो सुंदर है ही है इसलिए चलो चलो जाकर के कृष्ण को दर्शन करें an artist on the stage, he dresses very wonderfully and he's covered with red color as he performs his dance. Then what to speak of Krishna? He is already beautiful, therefore covered by the color of Govardhan with a peacock feather on his head. How attractive he looks. Chalo Saki, let's go and have, see the beauty of that Krishna. Another meaning of Natavad, during the marriage ceremony of Vedic culture, they decorate the bride look so nicely, even one very black and ugly. The dress make up so nicely became attractive. None can understand that it is the same person as before we have seen. So this is another meaning of not over. Hare Krishna. Gopya ki maacharad. Em kusalasma venu damo daradha sudham api gopi kana. Bhokte sain jatavarsi sarasangri danyam hishtap tacho mamoshi ustar vojata. Very good, yes, Lord. Gopya. Oh, Sakhi. The gopis, how, how this Benu, Benu means uh, bars, bamboo, bamboo. bamboo. <coughs> what Kasi Tapasya Adhubut ki hai? What austerity has done as far as what? And what has kya kiya hai? Hum nahi jaanti hai. Janengi to hum bhi waisa hai kar karte Krishna ko darshan karengi. Hmm? Oh. ये बंसी पुरुष हो करके भी पेनु और हम जो गोपिया हमारा ये धन कृष्ण का आधर है आधर रस और ये हमारे सामने ही हमारे कृष्ण के आधर रस को हमको अंगूठा दिखला कर और पी रही हैं हमारे लिए तनिक भी नहीं छोड़ा ओहो देखो तो तालाब हे दन्या तालाब इत्यादि देखते हैं कि हमारे ये पुत्र है कौन बंसी बेनु हमारे रस को पी करके बड़ा हुआ है बड़े खुश हो रहे हैं जो हमारा पुत्र हमारा बंसदार बेनु कृष्ण के अधर रस को पी रहा है और जो वृक्ष हैं देखते हैं कि वो हमारे बंस में ही ये जन्म हुआ है इसलिए बड़ा सौभाग्यशाली हम लोग हैं और ऐसा सोच करके कृष्ण को देख करके बड़े आनंदित हो रहे हैं इस प्रकार से चलो ऐसे कृष्ण को हम दर्शन करें if we know what austerities he has done we could also do the same austerities and always be in the hand of Krishna but alas, that flute is, he is a male. He has no right to drink the nectar of Krishna's lips. We own that nectar. Only we should drink it. But that flute is showing his thumb, neglecting us, and drinking it right in front of us. In fact, he's not even leaving us one drop. That time the ponds are feeling very happy. Like mother, oh, by drinking my water, that flute became great to become an associate of Krishna. And the trees are also very happy. Oh look, he is in our dynasty. How fortunate we are. Thus Krishna gave happiness to the residents of Vrindavan. Oh, Vrindavan. 
पृथ्वी की शोभा है और इसकी प्रतिष्ठा तो आज स्वर्णलोक की बात क्या बैकुंठ से भी अधिक है जहां पर श्री लक्ष्मी जी कुंजों को सजाती हैं और सेवा करती हैं सो so, देवकेशु कृष्ण ही है और यहां नित्य कर रहे हैं अपने चरणों के साथ में उनके चरण के चिन्ह पृथ्वी पर आ रहे हैं ओहो कृष्ण की बंसी ध्वनि सुन करके उनकी ताल पर ताल मयूर नित्य कर रहे हैं और प्रसन्न होकर के अपने एक पूछ को छोड़ देते हैं कृष्ण के लिए पुरस्कार देते हैं और कृष्ण मानो जो तुम इतना सुंदर बजा रहा है बंसी जिस पर हम थिरक करके नित्य कर रहे हैं इसलिए वो मयूर अपना एक पूछ देता है कृष्ण को और कृष्ण लेकर के ओ मैं सौभाग्यवान हूँ पुरस्कार को यहाँ पर रख रखते हैं ओ <coughs> देखो तो यहाँ पर गोवर्धन की तराई में और जितने पशु पक्षी हैं यहाँ सभी मुग्ध हो रहे हैं और वहां पर चुपचाप बैठ करके मयूर का नित्य और कृष्ण की बंसी के ध्वनि को सुन करके मुग्ध और पागल हो रहे हैं चलो ओ रियली दिस वृंदावन इज द क्रेस्ट जूल ऑफ ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस अर्थ व्हाट टू स्पीक ऑफ दिस अर्थ वृंदावन इज इवन मोर अट्रैक्टिव देन द हेवनली प्लैनेट्स और इवन मोर अट्रैक्टिव देन वैकुंठ दस व्हेन देवकी सुता द सन ऑफ यशोदा he plays on his flute that time the peacocks also they keep rhythm to krishna's dancing that time they want to reward krishna with his wonderful flute playing therefore they offer their flat their peacock feathers to krishna and krishna thinks i am so lucky so fortunate to get such a nice donation and krishna places it on his head therefore saki look towards govardhan all the birds there are seeing the flute the dancing of the peacocks and the playing of krishna's flute they have become mad and and stunned oh ban ki hiraniyan dhanya hai jati se murkh hai kisne murkh ab kisi mathur taan ko soon karke aur apne sharir ko bhi chhod deti hai बहेली आकर के उनको मार डालता है ऐसे मूर्ख हैं, किंतु आज वो धन्य है कृष्ण के इतने सुंदर मधुर रूप को दर्शन करके और उनकी बेणु का वादन सुनकर स्वर सुन करके आज दौड़ करके गोपियों जो हम जैसे ही कृष्ण के पास आती हैं और आंखों से प्रणय की कृष्ण की आरती उतारती हैं और कृष्ण भी उनको उसी प्रकार से प्रणय से देखते हैं ये गोपिया कितनी धन्य है हम लोग कैसी हैं दुर्भागा हम तो पति सुनेंगे तो हमको डांटेंगे आने नहीं देंगे कृष्ण के पास में और ये हिरणिया अपने पतियों के साथ में पति उनके पीछे चलो हम भी चलते हैं कोई चिंता नहीं तुम कृष्ण का दर्शन करो उनको सहायता करते हैं और हमारे पति तो हमारे वृद्ध आचरण करते हैं हमारा जन्म होता सार्थक यदि हम हिरणी होकर के जन्म ग्रहणते और कृष्ण के साथ में ऐसे ही दर्शन करते oh how fortunate even other deer the foolish deer by birth they are completely stupid because the nature of a deer by hearing any flute sound they are attracted and killed by the hunter therefore really they are foolish but today even they have become fortunate by hearing the beautiful sound of krishna's flute and by taking darshan of his beauty therefore they run towards him with their husbands and with their glancing of eyes and krishna also glances towards them they exchange artis therefore the gopis said to another one another we are most unfortunate if our husbands even so much as think that we are thinking of krishna they chastise us and punish us but these deer are so fortunate they go with their husbands to krishna their husbands are helping them not obstacles therefore we hope that next we can take birth as gopi as deer because they are supremely fortunate oh gaya ko to dekho krishna ki madhur bansi sunkar aur unke madhur roop ko darshan karke 
घासे चर रही है घासों का चढ़ना मुख में घास लगी उसको बाहर भी नहीं फेंक रही है नीचे भी नहीं निकल पा रही आनंद से उनके आंख के आंसू बरस रहे हैं और उनके बछड़ों को तो देखो उन गायों का दूध पी करके मुख में रख कर न निकल सकते हैं न उगल सकते हैं और कानों को खड़ा करके गाय और बछड़े दोनों ही कृष्ण के बंसी के स्वर को का रस कानों से पान ओ धन्य है ये Oh, the cows of Vrindavan are fortunate. Their ears, they drink the nectar of Krishna's flute, and by eyes they see the beauty of his form. Those cows become stunned by that sweetness. Therefore the grass in their mouth neither falls out nor goes inside their stomach. They remain stunned. Oh, the calves are also like that. They are not drinking the milk. Thus with the cows and calves both, with their ears upraised, they drink the nectar of Krishna's flute. How fortunate they are. Oh, इस बन के पक्षी पक्षी नहीं है ये तो मुनु है ऋषि मुनि है और ये पेड़ों की डाल पर बैठे हुए हैं पेड़ों की डाल अर्थात बेद की शाखा उपनिषद इत्यादि शाखाओं पर नहीं गोपाल तापनी इत्यादि जहां पर कृष्ण की मथुर लीलाओं का वर्णन किया गया उस शाखा पर बैठ करके और ध्यान से सुन करके सुनते हैं ये और अपने को सब को कुछ भूल जाते हैं आंख बंद करके कान से मधुर बंसी का स्वर वो दर्शन करते हैं और कृष्ण के रूप को आलिंगन करते हैं ओ जस्सी इवन द बर्ड्स आर फॉर्चुनेट Actually they are not birds but really they are great rishis munis and sadhus they are sitting on the branches hearing krishna's flute but really these are not branches these are branches of the vedas and not the ordinary dry vedic scriptures but those upanishads which describe the beauty of krishna's seva like the gopal tapani upanishad those birds with their eyes closed hearing the nectar of krishna's flute they have forgotten everything in this world and within their hearts they have darshan and embrace krishna oh inki to baat kya jamuna banshi ki swar sun kar ke aisi ho jati hai unka chalna band ho jata hai pravah band ho jata hai upar se pani aata hai niche ka jata nahi bhavre pad jati hai और उन भावों से कृष्ण को आलिंगन करना चाहती हैं किंतु कृष्ण निरपेक्ष रहने से वो लज्जित होकर के नीचे चले आती हैं और अपने लहर रूपी हाथों से कमल के पुष्प लेकर के कृष्ण के चरणों में उपहार दे रही हैं ओहो ये जमुना नदी जी धन्य है हम कृष्ण का आलिंगन नहीं कर सकते किंतु ये करती हैं What to speak of the birds being fortunate even in earth things like yamuna are fortunate hearing the sound of krishna's flute she has become stunned she cannot go from that place but the water is flowing down therefore she moves in a whirlpool shape thus by her arms she wishes to embrace krishna but she is also shy therefore her arms in the form of waves she offers lotus flowers to the feet of krishna how fortunate she is ओ पूर्णा पुलिंद उरुगाय पदा ओ ये गोवर्धन की पुलिंदिया कितनी सौभाग्यवान है जो कृष्ण के प्रति अत्यंत लुब्ध है कभी कभी गोपिया इन लोगों को बुलाती हैं वो फूल इत्यादि दे जाती हैं जिसे वो हार गा गोती हैं कृष्ण को देती हैं ये पुलिंदिया उनकी सहायता करती हैं इसलिए उनको कृष्ण के प्रति प्रेम हो गया जब वो देखती हैं जो कृष्ण बन के ऊपर में घासों पर चले हैं और गोपियों के कुमकुम का दाग कृष्ण के चरणों में लग गया 
और फिर वही कुण कुम घासों के ऊपर में लग गया वो प्रेम से दर्शन करके काम से मोहित हो जाती हैं और उसको पूछ करके अपने सिर पर अपने शरीर में लगा करके काम के ताप को दूर करती हैं ओ हम तो ऐसा नहीं कर सकते किंतु ये कुमकुम गोपियों के ही चरण बस्तक शर्म होता है ये भूल गई और कहते हैं ये पुलिंदी तक भी कृष्ण से प्रेम कर सकती हैं और हम नहीं हम दुर्भागा हैं Oh, Saki, even the Polindias, means the Aborigine jungle ladies of Govardhan, even they are more fortunate than us. How greedy they are for Krishna. Sometimes uh, the gopis get flowers, jungle flowers, off those Polindias. Therefore, those Polindias, get, they serve the gopis and get contact with them. Therefore, the kumkum from the bodies of the gopis has come on the feet of Krishna. Uh, it has come on the feet of Krishna, and that has stained the grass of Govardhan. Seeing that kumkum covered grass, then the Pulindya ladies become absorbed in calm and then in prem, and taking that kumkum upon their face and head, their lust is completely destroyed. How fortunate are those Pulindyas! That time the gopis have forgot the glory of the kumkum which they are describing is factually their own, coming from their own bodies. ओहो ये गिरिराज गोवर्धन निर्जीव पत्थर पहाड़ नहीं है ये तो हरिदासों में भी सबसे श्रेष्ठ है एक हरिदास युधिष्ठिर महाराज दूसरे उद्धव और उन दोनों से ही श्रेष्ठ ये गिरिराज क्यों क्योंकि सब समय इनके ऊपर में राम और कृष्ण के चरण पड़ते हैं उसका स्पर्श करते हैं और गायों के साथ में सखाओं के साथ में पीने के लिए स्वच्छ मधुर पानी देते हैं मधु देते हैं और पानी देते हैं और कंदराए देते हैं खेलने के लिए बैठने के लिए सिंहासन देते हैं ओहो एक गिरिराज धन्य है ओहो 